I understand why people have lost faith or are said to have lost faith uh, in the political class. At least I partly understand why. And, and of course, to a, a considerable extent, that's due to the political classes themselves, uh, most notably the great expenses uh, meltdown. But this problem existed long before the expenses meltdown. And there is an interesting question as to why when Parliament is full of ex-teachers and doctors and people in respected professions, as soon as they put themselves up for election uh, um, and are, it, enjoy the confidence apparently of the majority of the electorate, uh, they're suddenly turned into pariahs overnight. Uh, it's a bit of an enigma and one of the reasons for it is that I think our 24-7 media, especially but not only the tabloids, have demeaned politics uh, in recent years to the point uh, where it's become extremely destructive. Well, the overdue concentration on the personality of the leader feeds into the sort of personality cult, celebrity cult, uh, which is a feature of the age in which we live. I think it's inevitable. Um, and so I don't think it can be uh, necessarily resisted. You've got to, to roll with it. Certainly a big change in the 30 or 40 years that I've been uh, in politics. Uh, and if you go back a bit further, and Mr. Attlee would not have survived, who was probably the most successful peacetime prime minister of the 20th century, uh, would not have survived five minutes uh, in, the current, uh, in the current climate. I, I certainly approve of scepticism towards politics and politicians and uh, people having inquiring minds, but the point is they don't. If you, there was a very interesting series on Radio 4 the other day called In Defence of Politics, and it began with a series of Vox Pops uh, in which members of the public were just stopped and asked what they thought of politics and politicians. Uh, and they were just single word abuse was the response in most cases. And then they were asked to say, what had politics ever done for them? And it was all nothing, nothing. Well, uh, universal free education, universal free health service, clean water, all those things uh, arose as a result of uh, political uh, activity. Um, and yet, the public appears to be, or most people appear to be, unaware of this. Now, they were never challenged sufficiently, in my view, and asked the question, why? Why is that your opinion? Uh, um, so there's a certain intellectual laziness. But I do believe this sort of loathing of politics and politicians uh, um, is partly uh, uh, a product of the age in which we live, where the more information we have, uh, the less well-educated we appear to be. I don't resent the fact that the Liberal Democrats went into coalition uh, with the uh, Conservatives because I think that's the result uh, that the electorate dictated, whether I happen uh, to like it or not. Uh, I think the problem for the Liberal Democrats is that uh, because they've never had to take responsibility for anything for 60 years, it's come as a bit of a shock to them to take unpopular decisions. Previously, they've just leapt on whatever bandwagon happened to be passing. And in particular in the 205 and later in the 210 elections, they went around first of all saying they would not impose uh, uh, um, uh, uh, student fees. Uh, and uh, then in 210 they went around saying uh, that they would not increase them. And they did that entirely cynically in the absolute confidence that they wouldn't be elected and therefore would not never be called upon to deliver one way or the other. And then of course a few weeks later they found themselves suddenly in government and had to renege. That I think has rightly caused a great deal uh, of resentment, and it's right that they should pay a price for that. Uh, I've known the last four, five Liberal Democrat leaders, or uh, uh, from the sidelines slightly, uh, um, and I think that Nick Clegg, for all his fluency, and he is very fluent and very clever, is by far the shallowest uh, of, of them. Indeed, I, the, the other four, uh, uh, people like Paddy Ashdown, uh, David Steele, Charles Kennedy, Ming Campbell, uh, uh, were all figures of substance for whom I have a good deal of respect.